And there's a deer eating some grass. Oh, and there's a mountain up there. Look at that, guys. Wow, look at that mountain. There's a couple more deer over here eating some grass. Looks like it's uh, lunchtime. Hey, deers. Is it lunchtime? Oh, look at that mountain, guys. Look at that one. That is incredible. Which one is better, that mountain over there or that one there? <laughs> that is sweet. Come here, deer. Give me some of your lunch. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to share his lunch with me, guys. But guys, I'm in a place called Waterton Lakes National Park, and uh, I thought I'd just, you know. Go out and do another vocabulary walk video. You know, I just walk around with my camera. I teach you some vocabulary. I already made one English mistake. I said they're deers. The plural of deer is deer. Okay, so you don't say deers. It's deer. Hey, look at this. There's some uh, caution tape. Look at that, it says caution. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Caution. Oh, it's out of focus. Well guys, it says caution. I don't know what this is called. Safety tape. This is the first word that came to my mind was safety tape or or I guess it says caution, so the word's right on there. Caution tape. So I don't know why this is taped off here. Okay, you can say, like, if, if, if tape like this goes around a place, then the, the inside of that place is taped off. Okay, so maybe the police, maybe, I don't know, wh whoever did it taped off this area. Okay, so it's taped off. So, you know, I can't go in there. It's taped off. Guys, look at that majestic mountain. <laughs> it's just, I gotta take another picture of that, guys. That is just incredible. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just go for a little walk here, guys. We saw the deer. Saw some mountains already. There's some flag poles. There's no flags on the poles. So those things are called flag poles. They should have a there's a bug on my lens squashed it <laughs> some kind of fly little kind of look oh there's some deer droppings guys look at that some deer droppings got to take a picture of the deer droppings okay don't they kind of look like chocolate raisins <laughs> you know you can buy you can buy chocolate covered raisins or like almonds chocolate covered almonds but those those are smaller than the chocolate covered almonds I think those are <laughs> those look exactly like chocolate covered raisins man I wouldn't be able to tell the difference guys <laughs> if you gave if you gave me a a box of chocolate covered raisins and you put some of those in into the box I wouldn't know the difference I'd just be eating you know raisin 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 what is that <laughs> deer droppings uh, you guys wouldn't do that to me eh I hope you wouldn't do that kind of stuff to me so guys, I'm here to teach you vocabulary and just go for a little walk. You know, I like taking you guys on these vocabulary walk videos. I started this series, I think, when I was in Costa Rica. I think I started the series in, in Costa Rica. Let me know. I, 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 I can't remember. I think it was there. That was the first vocabulary walk. Oh, I see another deer, guys. Oh, so let's uh, look at this little thing here. What is this? What do we have here? 
Ooh, we've got a compass. Okay, north, east, west, south. Okay, and look at this. It says here, what's up in Waterton? Huh. 20 things to do. Hmm, is vocabulary walk one of the things? Oh, guys, I... Look at, okay, look at this deer here. Two deer. Hey, look up here. Deer. Hey, deer. Not talking to you, my deer. I'm talking to those deer. So, vocabulary walk was not on the list of things to do. But we're, we're making a new list, guys. We're making our own list. We're blazing a new trail here, guys, in Waterton Lakes National Park. This has never been done before in the history of Waterton Lakes. Now, guys, these flagpoles up here have flags on them. So let's cross this crosswalk. I think this is a crosswalk. And we're going to go across that crosswalk there. And, uh... Uh, let's see, so we're gonna walk to those flags now. You'll see here on these flagpoles, there's an Alberta flag, there is a Canada flag, and the United States of America flag, American flag. Okay, so now the wind is blowing there. I see, okay, it's a good chance to take a picture. I don't know if that's a good shot, guys. But, uh, so, you might be wondering, why is there an American flag there? Well, if you look on the map, Waterton Lakes National Park is right on the American border, okay? So, I'll, I'll just walk a bit over here to the lake and then uh, show you kind of, we'll look into the U.S., okay? So this is kind of a nice area here. Uh, guys, this place is just, is dead. There's very few people here. <clears throat> look at this nice rock. Man, what does that say? Okay, here's a map right here, guys. All right. So we can see this is Calgary. That's where I'm from. Okay, this is Alberta. And I'm right here. So we're right on the US border. Look at that, guys. This is cool. Man. Well, this is my very first time here <laughs> in Waterton Lakes National Park. Guys, I've, I've been all around the world many times. I think I've flown completely around the world like five times in both directions. I've gone a few times this way, a few times that way, but I've never even been here. And this is Alberta. This is two, two, three hours. It's about a three hour drive from Calgary. I've never even been here. This is my very first time in my life. And this is a beautiful place. I mean, I've been to the mountains before, right? The place closer to Calgary is called Banff. Uh, Banff National Park. Where am I going, guys? I don't know. Let's just keep walking. So the area closer to my, my neck of the woods, neck of the woods means where you're from, your place. Okay, the, the, the mountains close to my neck of the woods. Guys, I see a big horned sheep. Is it real or is it fake? I think it's fake. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. I thought it was real for a second. It's not moving, so I think it's fake. So, um, the place close to my neck of the woods is called... Is, is that fake or is that real? That is... <laughs> that looked really real. <laughs> I'll go take a look at it. From where I was standing, it looked so real. 
but it wasn't moving so I thought it was gonna be fake it is fake now I see it's fake I thought it was real uh, so the place close to my neck of the woods is called Banff National Park you know that's the mountains the same mountains right these are the same mountains but it's just a bit further south so guys there's a bear black bear right and uh, this is the sheep I thought <laughs> it looked so real from where I was walking over there okay so look at that there it is the big horn sheep look at that there you are sheep doesn't that look real? Guys, from a little bit further away, it really looked real to me. Big horn sheep. Okay. What's over here? Trout? Bull trout. Okay, that's a kind of fish. Let's take a picture of the bull trout, guys. A, a bull trout. Didn't know there was such a thing called a bull trout. A bull is a a male cow, right? Uh, I didn't know but the word bull also was used for a, a trout. Okay. Ah, oh, wow. Look at this cool place, guys. Like walking in the midst of these cool looking, looking like rock structures there. Ooh, guys, there's a cougar. <laughs> Gotta be careful for cougars around here. A cougar is another word for basically a, a mountain lion. They're big cats. And uh, you don't want to mess around with cougars, guys. They're, they're dangerous. Very dangerous cats. What about here? We have a... What is this? A beaver? Look at that beaver. Right? The beaver plays a powerful role in nature. Wow, okay, let's take a picture of Mr. Beaver. Whoever made these guys, they did a good job. Look at the, how real that looks. Look at the teeth on that guy. Man. So beaver, if you don't know anything about beavers, they, they cut down trees and they make a home in the in water like usually like a pond or maybe a lake or a river or something they make a house in the water out of their trees that they cut down with their teeth and their house is called a dam a beaver dam okay so that's where beavers live right oh wow look at this what do we have here osprey Ooh, an osprey let's take a little picture of the osprey guys osprey are uh great hunters mr. Osprey they're kind of like kind of like hawks or eagles they're kind of in that category falcons what's this one here sacred feathers of a bald eagles oh wow look at that guys a bald bald eagle is that a, is that really a, is there any more information over here uh, what doesn't it say the name of the... What doesn't it say the name of the animal, guys? Is it... Well, I don't know. I guess it's a... Some kind of an eagle. Let's take a picture of the eagle. Some kind of an eagle there, guys. And, uh... This is kind of cool walking around. Thanks for joining me, guys. We can learn a bit more about animals. Even I don't know, like... You know, what was this? This here, look at this. this is a crane. Okay, it's called a sand hill crane. Let's take a picture of the sand hill crane. All right. You know, I, I would have known that's a crane. A crane is a huge bird. They, they do fishing. The cranes, you know, they've got the long beak or bill. I don't know what you call it for cranes. But, uh, Oh, what's this guy here? A wolverine. Oh, guys. I don't know much about these animals. But they kind of look a bit scary, eh? They're not very big. So, these, these sculptures that we're seeing, I think they are life-size. 
they they yeah they they are actually life size so like the the deer i mean sorry the the bighorn sheep um the black bear although that black bear would probably be a bit on the small size side it black bears can get bigger than that the cougar yeah it can be with that so so a wolverine think about like well you can see on the camera right about that big so they're kind of the probably the size of like a a small fox like a fox but they're 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 lower to the ground they're weird looking creatures guys i don't know if i've ever seen a wolverine in real life i don't know have you seen a wolverine guys let's keep going what are we let's, this is kind of a cool looking place isn't it we can learn about all the different animals here Oh, we missed a we missed a bird over here, guys. Let's see what kind of bird this is. It's a blue, ooh, mountain bluebird. Man, that is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, I can't reach it. It's too high. I'll take a picture of it, okay? Oh no, it's too dark. Guys, I can come from this side here. Mountain bluebird. Isn't that crazy? That is beautiful. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a mountain bluebird in my life, but that's just blue. Very blue. And guys, I see a wolf. <laughs> I'd be terrified if I came across a wolf in real life. I don't know if I'd rather come across a wolf or a cougar. I guess probably a wolf. I don't know, guys. Those cougars scare the crap out of me. Look at that wolf. Oh wow, wolf, there it is, look at that, I mean, let me know in the comments, okay, would you rather encounter a cougar, or a bear, or a wolf, if you had to choose <laughs> one, of, one of those animals, ah, uh, guys, I'd... I don't know, could you stand a chance against a wolf? Like, like wolves are basically like, like a husky. Okay, about the size of like a, a husky. Oh guys, there's a real deer over there, walking on the other side of the fence. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's a mix of real animals and fake animals here. But hopefully the only real animals are deer. Hopefully there's no real wolves. Is this a fox? Oh no, it's a coyote. Okay, there's a coyote. Some people say coyote. Okay, look at that. About the size of a coyote. Now, I'm not afraid of coyote, guys. Uh, coyotes are... They're kind of like... They're kind of like a fox. Maybe a bit bigger, a bit bigger than a fox, kind of in, in between a fox and a wolf. Now guys, I used to work at a golf course near Calgary. And one time I was in the golf course, like raking a bunker. You know, in a golf course, they've got those sand pits. Those are called bunkers. And I was raking, you know, the sand in the bunker. And I looked, I, this was out in the, it's, out in kind of the nature area, right? There's a lot of wildlife around Calgary. I was raking a bunker and I looked back and there were two coyotes, literally like maybe two meters away from me. And they were like, look, they were, they were on the edge of the bunker and they were kind of like hunched, almost looked like they were ready to pounce on me. <laughs> they were just looking at me. And I looked back and I was like, Yikes, get eaten alive by coyotes. But look, I mean, look at this. They're, they're not big animals. Like, yeah, they've got teeth. They, they, I think they have been known to attack uh, people if, if they attack in a bunch, a group, a pack. I don't know. Guys, I'm just going to take a picture of the real deer over here. Is that a deer or is that a... I don't know the difference between some of these animals, guys. This one's got antlers. Some, some of these animals are... Oh, you know, he just went behind the tree. Come on. Don't go behind the tree. I need to review the difference between... Is there's a lot of animals in that category that are 
similar here in Alberta. There are caribou, there are elk, there are um, moose. Moose are big. Moose are m moose are easy to see. Uh, they're easy to identify. I always get elk and caribou mixed up. There's a bunch of bunch of those animals in that family, in like the deer family. I don't know the difference between. It's you can tell by the size of their antlers, but uh, I can't remember now. But anyway, there's there's here's one over here. Actually, this one over here is exactly what we just saw the real version of over there. So let me just go over here. Uh, what is this? Well, this says a deer, okay? So let's just take a picture of Mr. Deer. So what we saw in real life right there must have been a deer. It, was ex it looked exactly like this. All right, so look at that. Same size, basically, same antlers. Okay, these things are called antlers, not horns. All right, so uh, there it is. Wow, okay, so we just we just finished our tour of the, the animals, guys. Did you learn any words? Osprey, it's a good one. Um, man, that bluebird, that was gorgeous. I don't know if I've ever seen a real bluebird in my life have you ever seen a bluebird guys so we're just gonna walk over here to the lake now this lake if you look on the map the lake is pretty long so the border between the US and Canada goes through this lake okay so you know you could you could just get get a boat bring here bring a kayak or a canoe and you could just paddle yourself into the US of A or you could just walk over the mountains there's no fence or anything um, Canada and the US have the world's longest unprotected border in the world I mean it's a long border and there's also a big border up by Alaska right between Alaska and Yukon. There's a lot of long border there too. So it's unprotected. It's an unprotected border, meaning you can just walk across. You know, like you could just swim across there. I don't know if the US has, you know, guards, like if, if any like wildlife officers, I don't know if anybody's looking for illegals to cross over there. I don't think they're very concerned about that. Most Canadians aren't interested in crossing illegally into the US. I'm not. It's water's too cold for me to go swimming, guys. <laughs> I don't want to break into the US that badly to dive into some freezing water. That's not for me, guys. How about you? Would you swim? Do you want to get into the US so badly? that you would swim the length of this lake in freezing water. It's, it's chilly out here, guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's not super cold. It's October 15th when I'm making this video, but uh, it's, it's cold enough. It's getting chilly here, guys. So uh, I'm supposed to be teaching you some English, right? Have you learned anything yet? Well, hopefully we can, hopefully I'll teach you some more words as I see them. Uh, okay, so we're just going to the lake and, uh, and then we are going to look into the good old US of A. All right, so I'll take a picture right when we get to the water of that mountain over there that I see in the US. Hey, okay. So, uh, okay. So right here is a good spot to take a picture. Look at this, guys. So that mountain across the lake, uh, the mountain with snow on it. Okay, so these mountains here in Canada, 
you can see like that mountain that mountain that mountain none of these mountains have snow on it but that mountain over in the u.s uh like this is a long lake if you look on the map i'm pretty sure those mountains over there uh, i'm like 90 percent sure those are in the u.s i don't know exactly where the border is but we're we're basically right on the border and those mountains are probably like they're quite a ways so like that's the us of a the good old us of a hey now what does good old mean uh let me think good old like if you want it if you want it in a casual way if you want to guys this is windy <laughs> can you just hear the trees man that is scary wind is scary guys and that water that water is choppy okay if water is choppy that means it's it's rough the wind is making that water real really rough let's see if i can take a picture of the water guys i don't know that water is choppy and this wind is that's that's loud wind uh, I wonder if we can find a map that shows exactly how where the US border is. It's pretty close right here, guys. So I'm pretty sure that mountain's in the good old US of A. Okay, so if you want to, in kind of a casual way, if you want to, uh, how, what does it mean? Good old, it's almost a way of, um, Guys, I don't know. I don't know how to teach this term. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, I failed. I failed my job as a teacher. I don't know. What does it mean if you say something good old? And I say that's a, there's the good old U.S. of A. I was gonna say it's almost like a way of almost disrespecting the disrespecting the formal or the, the 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 seriousness of something you're almost like making it you're making it casual you're making something casual and you're almost uh you're reducing the you're reducing the formality i'm just trying to make up some definition here guys i i'm thinking out loud yeah like you know if you want to it's almost like a way of, of I would say reducing the respect for something like you know let's say let's say I'm talking about the royal family in the UK now I've made it clear on my videos in the past that I have no respect for the royal family in the UK you know, now the queen has passed away. Uh, now there's the king and the, his kids and whatever. I, I don't really care about that family. Um, so I might say something like, eh, the good old uh, royal family. They're always in the news, you know, they're just... It, it's almost like I'm uh, talking, I'm making, I'm making it casual when really maybe that you you might think they deserve respect uh i don't know guys if i say oh the good old us of a let you you teach i'm done with teaching guys i failed i failed my role as a teacher now it's your turn to teach what does that mean what does that phrase we say good old good old us of a good old you sometimes you don't even say the the d good old good old us of a good old good old I don't even know how to say it guys now I'm overthinking this you know sometimes when if you think about something too much you don't even you kind of even you're not even sure what you're saying you don't know how to process it you're just thinking too much good old US of A good old US of A I don't know guys it's time for you to teach not me hey guys look at that shed a little like a backyard shed Let's see if I can oh, I can't even fit it into my camera 
So I'm shooting on the Olympus. Olympus OM, no. Uh, what's it called? Olympus OMD EM 10 Mark IV. What a mouthful. Olympus OMD EM 10 Mark IV. I don't know who comes up with <laughs> the names of these cameras. That's just insane. Guys, I don't know why are, why are these trees all dead? Look at, okay, look at those trees, right, on this mountain. They're all dead. Was there a forest fire here? I don't know. I'm not an expert on this stuff. It's possible that there was a, I don't know, with a forest fire of roasted all the, look, they look kind of, it's not that they look burned, it's that they just look dead. But wh like, why are there these trees? Okay, these are evergreen trees here, right? In this uh, person's yard. But all the trees on the mountain, actually no, not all, not all the trees, okay? I can see some living, some are, some are alive, guys. Uh, I'll just try to take another picture, okay? You can see there's like maybe two or three living trees, but most of them are just dead. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But on that mountain, all of them are living. Why are the why are those ones living and those ones dead? Beats me, guys. I have no idea. So, guys, this place is called Waterton Lakes National Park. It's it's dead here. I mean, look at this. You, you can see there's no there, there's nobody here. It's a, actually a beautiful place. Um, mountains all around, right? Mountains, mountains, mountains. It reminds me of a verse in the Bible. Uh, Moses it reminds me of something Moses said in Psalm 90. Moses said, uh, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations before the mountains were born or you brought forth the whole world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Look, like just, isn't this, aren't these beautiful guys? When I'm in a place like this, it just makes me think, ah, God's creation is just magnificent. I mean, just like, look at that mountain. It's just big strong you know it just makes a person feel small right like when you're surrounded by these big mountains you're just like man i feel so small and insignificant right but actually humans are the humans are the apple of god's eye if you're the apple of someone's eye it means you just you you love them you know you are the apple of my eye, guys. If I say that, that means I, I love you. I, you're, you're, you're just special to me. You're precious to me. And that's what, that's what humans are to God. That's why, that's why violence is so, so bad. That's why, why harming other human beings is so bad. Um, you know, like remember at the beginning of the Bible, Cain and Abel? Adam and Eve had their first two sons, right? Oldest one was named Cain, and their second son was named Abel. Cain killed Abel, right? Shed innocent blood. And that cycle of violence has been continuing in the world up until now. You know what? Like, violence against human beings is uh, its just absolutely an abomination in God's eyes. Abomination means it's just like, it's disgusting. It's like, it's, it's evil, deeply evil in God's eyes. So don't hurt other human beings. Try to fight for peace. Try to be a peacemaker, a truth speaker. So, you know, here's the thing. Truth divides, right? Truth often divides because a lot of people don't want truth. So if you speak truth, you divide and then people get angry and they kill each other and stuff like that. So it's, uh, 
It's important to do both. Speak truth and fight for peace. Without truth, there actually can be no peace. All right, so truth is absolutely important. Peace must be based on the truth. Um, so we're waiting for the Prince of Peace. All right, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He is coming back and he is the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So there we have it. Two, Prince of Peace and the truth. We don't need to divide. We don't need to pick and choose which one we're going to do. Are we going to do truth or are we going to do peace? Sometimes people feel like they have to compromise truth in order to get peace. But actually, we don't need to do that. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he is the truth. So there you have it, guys. Well, I've been walking around this town. It's pretty dead. Like there's nothing much to I don't know what to teach, guys. Sorry about that. I thought I'd maybe teach you some more words. At least we saw a few deer, right? And, uh, but I'm just, I don't know, this town is dead. Like it's such a beautiful place, but nobody's here. So I don't know, I don't know where to go. I'm done. So guys, that's it. I'll, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't teach you very many words, so dog there guys so I apologize for that hopefully next next uh, next vocabulary walk I can teach you some more words but anyway thank you for joining me in this beautiful walk here in Waterton Lakes National Park so guys with that I'll say uh, as always I love you so much thank you for joining me hope you're doing great hope you're staying safe healthy happy and guys, as always, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.